All right, SP 500. We can see that uh, it's in a down channel. Uh, two days, I wouldn't be looking to get really short, but um, it is what it is. So don't look to be catching a fallen knife. Make sure it sticks in the ground first before you look to pick it up. So right now we can continue to see that we're in this down channel and don't fight the trend. Look for setups. Uh, if you and there's a lot of hammers on uh, a lot of different charts, and that doesn't mean that you just instantly go long. So you can see that uh, same thing goes with um, the Dow Jones. You can see we have this right here, uh, and it's pretty much just down channel like that. So you know, kiss method. You know, and at the end of the day, it's at the weekly. Uh, you can see it's it's getting down to this previous support level. Um, and we got to see if it's going to hold. Okay, it's hit it once, twice, it's the third time a charm. I don't know, weakening volume, but remember, it's only Wednesday. So we really have to kind of see what's going on regarding that. Uh, the NASDAQ, if we look at the weekly, you can see it, um, it looks so far bearish candle on the weekly, breaking this previous uh, pivot point right here, uh, which was uh, August 9th. And um, we just have to kind of see what, what goes on from there. But we see we had this pendant, we had a shooting star, broke down hard. One, two days uh, of hard selling, um, and the volume is increasing to the downside. So again, this is basically just breaking out what it was shown on the weekly. And uh, if you look at the monthly, um, I mean, it still looks pretty good. I mean, it, you see that it's an uptrend on the monthly, but remember that this chart is gonna move before the monthly. So we just have to see what is gonna happen. Russell uh, 2000 is under 50 day as well. So we really have to see if we have a bounce, if we have a lower high, that might give you another opportunity to go to the short side if you did at all. You see that we're testing this weekly up channel. So we really have to be careful uh, regarding that because um, at the end of the day, you know, you this could just be a retracement or a correction to the upside, but you know, high, when that happens, you know, people say they called it. Yeah, hindsight's twenty twenty, but we're just trading the right side of the chart. If we get a bounce in this area and another bearish candle, you know, I, I'm 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 in. So let's look at some of the uh, some big names that are in. Facebook is approaching that line that I've spoke about for the past week. Uh, this is the uh, key level to me, and you got to hammer off a key level, but. Um, if that breaks down, hammer doesn't mean it. if it breaks down below this low of 45.26, it, it's it's moving to the downside. So uh, again, this would be something like a morphed um, evening star. And if it breaks below this, which you can see is the high of the IPO uh, opening, then you, this stock could be in some trouble. So we just have to keep an aware of that price line. Uh, continue to the downside, got a hammer at the 50-day. Um, and if we look on the weekly, you see you almost have an engulfing pattern, but we have to see how this weekly candle closes. Remember, it closes at Friday at 4. So don't you know go premature and say, oh, listen, it's engulfing, because this could end up being a huge hammer. And, and if it breaks these highs again of uh, 1074, it is off to the races. Um, I suggest being as nimble as you can because there could be news. You never know. News about the debt ceiling stuff could really make the markets change either way. I don't know what direction it's going to be, but so you just want to be nimble. If anything, if volatile times get you you're a little bit cautious, you reduce position size and go from there. Um, you have LinkedIn continuing to the downside. Um, like I said, I'm not looking to short anymore right here. It's already came and filled this gap. Uh, Google did the same, got to a previous uh, swing point around here, uh, 845 from this engulfing pattern and just continue to the downside. Now you have a break of this up channel. So uh, that's not a good sign. So let's, let's kind of see how that goes from there. You have Pandora giving you a hammer uh, around uh, this level right here. Um, again, is it going to come or is this just a dead cat bounce that's going to give you an then fill this gap? Only time will tell. You have Amazon. Amazon continues to the downside from this engulfing pattern here. Down broke this level that we talked about and is continuing. So you're talking about from the level we spoke about is still, you know, almost a, you know, one and a half percent move down from the beginning of it, uh, which, you know, is not easy to, uh, 
spot, you're talking about almost a, you know, a five and a quarter. It's actually five and a quarter on the dot. So you're just going to have to really, really make sure you see what's going on. Cores is at the 50 micro cores. You got NQ uh, giving you a hammer at the 50. These, this is not a go, like an official, all right, now we're buying the dip. This, to me, is not the dip yet. I'd rather wait. If it comes up and breaks up and then gives me a little dip lower high and then gives me something, then I'm, I'm looking to get it. You got new skin, pretty much give me the same thing. Hammer at the 50s. So we really have to see. Because once this tail breaks, it, it, you know that hammer is, is voided. So you just have to be careful. But it is coming at high volume. So I do expect some type of bounce. But what's the power of the bounce going to be? And remember on the indexes that I just showed, you know, there's already a, a down channel in place. Uh, let's look at some uh, biotech. Uh, you got those continuing to the downside. You got Renjin uh, getting down the hammer at the 50. You got MasterCard uh, stopping at the 50. Don't know where this is going to go. I'm expecting some little type of pop. You got the Fed chair that was announced said that that's what gave a little bit of pop today. But mm, it really wasn't that advertising. But at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you got... Chipotle actually held up really well. So, I mean, if it can get above these levels, it could move to the upside. It's kind of freaky. I didn't think that it would have held up so well um, compared to a lot of the other stocks. So, um, let's see if I do Baidu. Uh, yeah, I think I did Baidu already. So, uh, again, um, I'm going to look at these. You know, keep your eyes peeled for this stuff. And, uh, you know, if you feel uncomfortable, you know, you can always... Just say, listen, I'm not. I'm just gonna wait. Let's look at the financial sector quickly. Um, and they had a little bit of pop today. You got Bank of America, you got Goldman Sachs, a little pop today. You got uh, Wells Fargo, just didn't continue more to the downside. You got City, same thing. You got J.P. Morgan, um, right at the 200. You got uh, Prudential, uh, still giving you a little hammer, but I mean, you know, not really that much conviction. And if it breaks these lows right here, then it can. It has a lot of air underneath that. I mean, you're talking about all the way to the 61 level. So, um, well, not even that far. So it's around the 65 level. But again, um, over the time that I usually try to go uh, five minutes, I'm a little bit over. So, um, you know, make sure you're looking. And, and if you don't feel comfortable trading, that's fine. You know, if you say, listen, I don't know if to go long or short, take a step back. If you want to continue trading, Reduce your size if you feel un uncomfortable. There's nothing wrong with that. Or cash is always a position. Sometimes it's one of the best positions you could do. So take care.